Hey guys, it's Matamoria. Welcome back to more Pokemon Gold. And as soon as I exited Mr. Pokemon's house, this doof called me. Hello, Mandum. It's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It. Oh no! Please get back here now. Click. Yeah, everybody just hangs up on you in this game. Really awesome, right? Okay, so now we gotta go back through the grass, I believe. I apologize if we see a whole bunch more battles. I'm gonna try to not get caught. Okay, my luck is up at the moment. Was there anything over this way that I missed last time? Oh, so cute! It's a battle with, like, battle toads! Looks like it. Who knew that Ratata looked like that? What? This is a big battle. Leave me alone. Whatever, no one can even walk up to you in battles. That's cute though, how it showed off like that. Okay, or shown off, not showed. Um, alright, so it should be a lot easier getting back because we won't have to walk through the grass as I am showing off now. And, yeah. What? Oh, wait. Ah! You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste, a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Oh no. Our first big battle. I'm pretty sure there's no way you can lose this battle either. Triple question mark wants to battle. Alright, triple question mark sent out. Chikorita! So, naturally, in every single Pokemon game, whichever Pokemon you choose, your title foe in the game will choose um, the Pokemon that is strongest against yours. So, for instance, since uh, grass is strong against water, he's gonna choose grass. Lame. Um, I guess I could go over that. I know you, a lot of you probably already know this, if, especially those of you who are at all familiar with Pokemon games, but I'll just point it out for the heck of it. Um, water is strong against fire, which is obvious. Fire is strong against plants, because that's also obvious. And plants are strong against water, which is not really that obvious, but I guess that's what makes the most sense out of the three. So, all Pokemon follow elements, and it is important that you remember those elements. Um, so yeah, sweet battle theme going on here, by the way. So, out of all the water Pokemon, I would say that um, Totodile is actually mm, one of my least favorites, just because he's not as cute as Squirtle, like, who was the first one and is extremely cute, and then turns into, like, the biggest pimp in the world. Um, War Turtle was never my favorite, but Blastoise is awesome, and Squirtle is just the bomb big. Um, Humph, are you happy I... I mean, you won. Mandum got $300 for winning. Um, okay, my name's Triple Question Mark. I'll finish what I was saying in a second, by the way. I'm going to be the world's great est Pokemon trainer. Way to kick our butt again, I'm leaving. Okay, so anyway, um, I was saying, what was I saying? Following the elements of each Pokemon in battle is important. Pro oh no, I was talking about Squirtle, well, that's what I said before that. Yeah, Squirtle's like the cutest water Pokemon, in my opinion. Um, I'm so bad with names in the later generations just because I nickname all my Pokemon and like growing up I knew all the Pokemon by name without even thinking just because I watched the show so much and everything and I had the Pokemon cards but you know like later generations um, I have trouble remembering like I love Oshawa and Sapphire is probably my favorite Pokemon game that you know if I just take away nostalgia value that probably is my favorite I can't remember the name of the main water Pokemon in it. I'm sure a lot of you are going to correct me, but I love it. Seriously. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Prof Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. Gross. What? You 
battle to train her like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yeah, it was triple question mark! Oh, shoot. Wait a second, let me see. Alright, you guys know who my main enemy in the entire world is, right? Yeah, Peach, except she's a man now. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this work. Peach, man, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. So now we've got Peach Mon, basically, if you're going by that lovely little standard right there. Yes! Triple question mark is now Peach Man. Was his name. Yes. Thanks for helping me in- Thanks for helping me investigation. No, what- I, I don't- I like to make people from other countries, apparently. Mandom, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Handed the mystery egg to pro- Whoa! That's where babies come from. Yikes. This? But it is a Pokemon egg! Okay. If it is, it is a great discovery. Oh my god, what? Prof Oak gave you a Pokedex. Manda, is that true? Th that's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Mandum, you may have what it takes to become the champion. We are the champions, my friend, my pimp. I don't know. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon gym challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Okay, Mandum. The road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Wow, thanks, Pop. Anyway, um... Yeah, why can't we take this stupid Pokemon right here? It's just gonna sit there. It contains a Pokemon caught by Prop Elm. Yeah, it contains Cyndaquil, and he's probably my favorite out of all the starters in this game, just looks-wise. I just love water. Mandom! Use these on your Pokedex quest. Mandom received Pokeball. Thanks, you gave me one Pokeball. Oh wait, unless one ball is actually a set of two balls. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. Let's go talk to our mom. Alright, mom. Oh my god, why can't I go in that? Get in the door. Okay. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon! Where did you get it? So, you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. Thanks, Mom, for taking all our money. Uh, anyway, I want to point out something really quickly, and that is, in this game, um, when your mom saves your money, she will buy you nifty little items, but she will also buy you these things called Poke Dolls. And then you'll have like all these stuffed animals in your bedroom. And that is like the best thing in the world to have all these stuffed animals piled in your room eventually. And I think she buys you like an N64 or something too. Um, I might be wrong with that, but I know she buys you all kinds of stuff. And they actually took that out of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver versions of this game. In Pokemon Gold and Silver, that happens both ways. So I was really, really sad when that was not part of the game. I was like, no! Are you serious? Um, okay, so we're officially on an adventure again. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? I don't want you to show me how to catch Pokemon! I did not mean to click yes just now. Whoa, look at how weird he looks, though. He's got no face! <laughs> He's got balls. Dude, you s- <laughs> Dude? Yes, dude used the Pokeball. What the heck? I've never seen a Rattata. Or rat- yeah, rat- whatever. I've never seen a rat in this area. Okay, well thanks, dude. I didn't know that was your real name, but apparently it is. Um. So now we can officially catch our first Pokemon. 
which is going to be... Pidgey! Pidgey can come in a lot of handy later, though. Usually whenever I catch, like, a Pidgey or a Sparrow right off the bat, I end up using it, like, a ton because I just train it up and then use Fly with it. Um, but first we're gonna weaken it because I like to weaken my Pokemon before I catch them. I'm never a person who's like, yeah, throw the Pokeball as soon as it's there. Okay, hopefully I don't kill it with this. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I killed it. I didn't mean to. I swear. Okay, fine. Well, I guess Pidgey was not our first Pokemon. Because we killed her. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to go back this way. I really wish I had cut right now, though, because then cut all these trees down. Or all these fake trees that are in the way. And of course now I'm not running into anything. Look at this. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to show off um, the map. Alright, so right now... Oh no. We are in... We're headed to Cherry Grove that way. Oh my god, I'm going the opposite way, aren't I? There we go. Violet City is past, um, past Cherry, er, yes, Cherry Grove. Sorry, I wanted to show that off really quickly so you guys would know where we were going. And we didn't catch anything. We just killed something in our attempt to get our first Pokemon. So we'll get our p first Pokemon here. I don't believe that Pokeballs become available in the shop at any point in time. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, they do. There they are. Uh, let's get, let's get five. Yes. Okay, so yeah, they become available now. Just kidding. So this town is just like the BS town of this game. There's one in every game. Um, where there's absolutely nothing you can do in this town. It's just for the sole purpose of learning about what a town is. Oh my god, maybe we can catch something! Metapod. Alright, now I know I can weaken this guy. Um, so Metapod can be our first Pokemon we catch. Yay! And he's gonna use... Ew, he's so gross, though. Alright. So I want to address the issue now of, um something called shiny Pokemon. I'm sure most of you know what this is. Um, but you can actually catch Pokemon that are colored differently than they're supposed to be. Which I didn't really know was like true except for like the typical red Gyarados that you find like later in this game or in silver. Like I didn't know it was true when I was growing up. I thought like, oh no, it's just, that's just like a rumor. Um, but actually it is true, and, um, so, yeah, I didn't know that, and I accidentally caught one. Hi, Gooba! Gooba just came in, by the way. I accidentally caught a shiny Pokemon during, um, Pokemon Sapphire when I got that game, and, of all things, I named it with a color in the name, so... It was really, really stupid that that's the way I found out about it. It was actually a Wobbuffet, and Wobbuffets are supposed to be blue, right? Okay. Well, I named it Blue Cutie because it was blue and it was cute, and so I was like, okay, yeah, Wobbuffet, we'll go with that. Um, blue Cutie. And then when I looked at it, like in my um, Pokemon inventory, it was purple, and I was like, no, I thought this was supposed to be blue. Yay, we caught Metapod, by the way. Um, I thought it was supposed to be blue. And so I, for the longest time, went on thinking, God, I can't believe I thought that that Pokemon was blue and it's actually purple. And it wasn't until like a year later when I saw my friend's game and she's like, well, here's my Wobbuffet because he was like one of the main people on her team um, that I realized he was blue in her game and I was like no that one's supposed to be purple and she's like what are you talking about so I showed her my Wobbuffet and she's like 
What? Are you serious? Why is it- That's not fair! You got a purple one! And so, oh, I remember us laughing so hard over that because we discovered that, yeah, mine was special, apparently. Um, but before I continue that story, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this metapod cocoon. Inside the shell is a soft and weak as it prepares to evolve. It stays motionless in the shell. Yeah, so there's really no way for this guy to evolve unless you put him in daycare, which comes along later, or you have experience share, which comes along later as well. Um, as far as I know anyway. Yes! We need to nickname Metapod! Um, so yeah, Metapod originally starts out as, um, oh god, I saw that picture and I was like, Weedle, but that's not right. Um, Caterpie. But we missed that stage, so forget about it. Let's see. What do we want to name him? Mm. He's eventually going to be a Butterfree, I would say, so let's name him. Oh no. Let's give him a South Park name. Wait, it's a boy, right? It's a girl! Fine, we'll make it girly with a Z. Yeah! Alright! So anyway, um end of the story, I caught a, I caught another Wobbuffet, um, I actually caught this before I saw my friend's game too, or no I didn't, I caught it after, and I was like, no, I'll show you, it's purple, and I caught one and I named it Purplio, well there he is, there's Caterpie, I named it Purplio, and come to find out, it was blue, and so I was like, what, oh my god, I was so confused. So yeah, hopefully we can find a shiny Pokemon in this playthrough, um, because that would be legit, but they're really rare to find. I know that you can get them as starters, like you can get a shiny starter Pokemon, but I don't even want to know how many times you would have to reset your game for that, or if that would ever even work. Um, that'd be pretty cool though, if that did happen. Okay, Violet, okay, Mr. Pokemon's house is straight ahead. Is this the direction I want to go? I think so. Unless I need to go... Okay, I don't know. I'll go this way and see. If I can even get around this way. Dun oh, okay. Well, why am I confused? Alright, I don't know. I'm gonna find my way, um in a moment though, because this is actually, I'm about out of time, I need to conclude the episode for today and for this week, so, um, yeah, this has been Madame Morio with more Pokemon Gold, um, and I will see you guys next time for when we really get into the game and start working up to our first badge, so, yeah, thanks for joining me, peace out, pimps!